Hi guys! Welcome back! This is Brian Ocampo. This video is about purchasing, receiving and storing delivered foods and its principles. If you have not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe to Clarify Better where we publish daily to help people in the hotel industry to learn something new. Also remember to click on the bell icon so that you receive the notification when we upload a new episode. Topics covered are the temperature danger zone, referred to as TDZ. The first rule of purchasing is that we must purchase food from approved sources. Yes, I mean suppliers who have all government certificates like FSSAI certificate. In addition to that, we must also go and check on the vendor. We must only buy after we are convinced that the vendor is good and follows all hygiene practices, understood by from reputed suppliers. What else should we remember? Try and ask your vendors to deliver while you are not busy. That way, when the food comes in time to inspect, inspect the deliveries carefully, check for proper labeling and in fruits and vegetables, check for sign of pest infestation or damage. Use a calibrated thermometer to check frozen and chilled materials, and accept supplies that are within the recommended temperature. The last thing to remember is to put the items into store and refrigerator quickly have enough people to store food items so that it does not line outside for too long. These are the general principles of purchasing and receiving. Receiving and storage is a critical part of any food service operation. Propose the storage areas for delivery, have your order list available and cross-check it against the invoice. Procedures for accepting food deliveries and procedures for storing food deliveries. The temperature danger zone includes the range from 41 degrees Fahrenheit to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. Bacteria will grow quickly in the TDZ. Temperatures above the TDZ are used to sanitize dirty dishes and utensils or to cook foods. Temperatures below the TDZ are used to store perishable foods. Bacteria do not grow in temperatures above or below the TDZ. When receiving food delivery, check product accuracy, quality, cleanliness, and food temperatures. Don't rush. While the driver's still on the premises, make sure you check that you have everything you ordered the right items. The right quantity. The right quality. Verify that the items delivered match items on purchase order. If substitutions are made, contact the manager before accepting the items. For product quality. Check for signs of spoil age. Intact packaging. Expiration dates. And cans free of dense rust and swelling. Open your cases to check the quality of the product. Look at the product inspected. Contact supplier immediately if there are products that do not meet standards. Products that do not meet standards should be returned to supplier. You should spot check your temperatures of your hazardous foods if anything is missing or unsatisfactory refuse at the time of delivery and make sure your invoice is corrected. Make sure both the receiver and the delivery person initial any returns or credits. Refrigerated goods should be received at 41 degrees Fahrenheit or less. Reject any refrigerated items with higher temperatures. It is especially important to purchase shellfish and fish from a reliable supplier. When you make a return, make sure you let your supervisor know so that they can assure that the product gets replaced your cases and make sure you're rotating your product in all your storage areas. Food storage procedures are important to prevent foodborne illness. Use a permanent marker to label inventory with the food name and date received. Remember the rule FIFO first in first out, avoid cross-contamination in your storage areas. Older product must be used before newer product. That's called first in, first out. 
this can easily be remembered by the acronym FIFO. First in, first out. Foods on the lower shelves Your prepared foods above keep light things alike keep it all organized. A well-organized storage area creates an efficient workspace. Store perishable foods in temperatures below the TDZ. The storage temperature for refrigerated items is 32 degrees to 40 degrees Fahrenheit. The storage temperature for frozen items is negative 20 degrees Fahrenheit to 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Both temperatures are below the TDZ. Occasionally, the Food and Drug Administration or the FDA issues of food recall to remove foods that are a health hazard to consumers. Food recall items should be removed from inventory. Restaurant managers or executive chef can sign up to receive notices of food recalls and alerts by email. I hope these tips can help you improve your purchasing, receiving and storing food process. Hope you liked it and gained some knowledge on this video. Watch other videos to learn about purchasing, receiving and proper storing of food on my YouTube channel. These short videos will help you to learn all about receiving food safely. This is Brian Ocampo. Thank you for watching and see you in next video.